Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Geekomania. Today we're going to do a bit of a just a conversation, a, re a travel, if you will, a journey through our pasts and through a nice little journey through our video gaming history and just what shaped us as children's. So it's going to be as a... children's. As children's. <laughs> well, yours, a ch you as a child, you as a child, I was a child. We were children's. I think Ben got like smacked in the head or something at some point. Ben no get hit in the head. Ben good. <laughs> <laughs> it would be our video game nostalgia. Ben Zaro number yeah. one. That's a great word. Nostalgia. But yes, so I'm going to go back to what is the logical start for this, which is the first video game I ever owned, and oh. this was me personally. And it for me it was Crash Team Racing on the PlayStation One because I came to this game a bit later than you guys did probably. We're the same. Mm. We're the same uh, age. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. So, but no, Aww. I loved Crash Team Racing to bits, and that I still go back to it to this day. It it's still my favorite Mario Kart game, basically. And I know that's a controversial opinion because a lot of people <laughs> don't like Crash Team Racing, but I really like the story mode because it's. It takes the good aspects of a Crash Bandicoot platform with the collecting and crap, and then all the good aspects of a racing game, and it's nice. And the characters are memorable. Ooh. I like it. That was. I still got. I still own that game to this day. It's still on my shelf in my bedroom. Pride of place, as battered and scratched as it is. So yeah, that was that was my start. Still comes from now. PlayStation One. PlayStation 1 was your first console? Uh, I did, no, it, it wasn't. The first console that I... Um, uh, well, I, I didn't own it. Uh, my uh, dad did. It was a PlayStation 2. But like, And that was right near the... Yeah, no, what? really. I, yeah, I, 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 I came to this... I, I, I didn't get to play many video games until like I was fairly oh, old. Oh, okay. So okay. Like, I, 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 I was late wow. to the game on multiple levels. Um, so I didn't start playing games properly until I was about like seven or eight. Yeah, really. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it's just because I'm older. That's all but, right. yeah, no, so that was, like, my first big game. Like, the first game console I actually owned was my GameCube, because that's the one, the first one I actually got with, like, my own money, basically. Okay. Mm. Same thing with me. That was the first such a console I went out and bought my, my own money was probably the GameCube as well. Or maybe the PS2, one of the two. Sam, what was your, like, first ever video well, game? I, that the of first thing? console I bought myself was an Xbox, but... Um, we had we had a Sega Master System. Showing my age now. <laughs> and, I know, right? That's cool. Right? That's pretty Retro, nice. Retro, yeah. old school. Um, and like, it, I remember it came with games like I think it had one of the Sonic games on there already, and it had like Hang On. It was like free. That's pretty cool. You didn't Do have you Alex Hang On. You didn't have <laughs> honestly. Didn't have so, Alex Kid either because that was another one Alex, that was, yeah, odd, yeah, was on I quite a lot as well. Um, hang on, it's just, um, it's a motorbike game, and literally, it's just from the point of view of, like, the handles of the bike, and you're just <laughs> trying to hold on <laughs> while you go around a track. That's pretty cool. And you can, That's... like, go fast, and, because obviously the pads just, like, yeah, yeah. direction on the two buttons and stuff, and yep. it was the most boring, even as a kid, I knew it was boring, but... Really it was a games console, I mean, mm. back then, like, there was nothing else, and I just couldn't believe, these graphics were just... Fantastic. Mind blowing. I know. And you go back and you look at graphics now and just how much of a leap yeah. it's gone from like 25 odd years ago. Did you ago ever play on like a Master System, a Mega Drive, when you were? Uh, my, my aunt had a Mega Drive when we had the NES <laughs> and the SNES, and my first okay. like console was the NES, and I remember playing like, do you remember Duck Hunt? It's a game with so like, the, uh, a light gun where you have to go around and to shoot the ducks on the screen, and if you miss them, the dog used to like go, used to just laugh at you, and the dog used to piss everyone up. That was hilarious. Oh. And, I, and I used to love Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Uh, Loads, but and one day I was having an asthma attack, and when my, my mum came in, saw me having an asthma attack, and I was still on the ground, like, <laughs> and still playing the game. I was just like, Yep, I'm not <laughs> leaving my control when I'm having an asthma oh, attack. That, ladies and gentlemen, is dedication, stupidity, die. but dedication. You would die yeah. with a control in your hand, well, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, I would have died happily he with died a control in my hand. Failing at Super Mario. Um, We're gonna bury you with a controller and like a Pepsi can or something. <laughs> <All good. laughs> or maybe, or maybe an X on my hand or something as well to symbolise. Yeah. Yay! Mark's gonna die tomorrow, and this conversation is gonna become super awkward. It's become super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, um, for me, like a big part of my gaming life um, wasn't so much that PlayStation Two. For me, 
it was always Nintendo handhold handhelds. Really? I have had so much of my gaming experience has been shaped from me playing on either my grandma had an old one of those grey brick Game Boys oh, with Tetris, yeah. Dr. Awesome. Mario and um the the Game Boy Mario, which was a really weird bad game. Ooh, that was terrible. The, the second one, did you ever play Mario Land 2? Uh, my friend David had that, and that was quite fun. But yeah. I never actually played it myself. But uh, it And then really eventually, like, I got myself um, a Game Boy Color. And that that was, like, my console. I spent so much time with that Game Boy Color. With Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Silver, and just... And lots of other Game Boy Color games. I remember I had a Robot Wars Game Boy Color game. Mm. That was so <laughs> terrible. Not but surprised. I loved it to bits because I was obsessed with Robot Wars back then. And I, I can Robot play Wars a kill a lot. So. <laughs> oh, that was dumb. I liked Chaos 2. He was my favourite robot. He was pretty cool. Is that the one that used to flip everyone? Chaos 2 was like the first robot that had... We, we, sorry about the Robot Wars tangent, guys. No. But Chaos uh, 2 was the first one to pioneer the flipper technology on robots. Because no one mm. else had really thought of like <laughs> flipping a robot over to disqualify it so it couldn't move. But Chaos 2, that, that was the pioneer. Mm. That was the stuff. And then Hypnodisc came along and just wrecked everyone. Yeah, I don't remember this. I remember watching it, but I don't remember the movie. Craig Charles. Uh, <laughs> and for okay. one season, Jeremy Clarkson. Oh, really? Wait, no. Jeremy Clarkson really? in the series of Robot Wars? Yeah. I wasn't aware of this. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to do that. I'm a big fan of Clarkson, and I'm a big fan of Robot Wars, so that's... What? Clarkson's cool. I don't always agree with his political beliefs. He's occasionally a belligerent fool. I'm allowing fool. you to have your opinion. But, but yes, that's, that's all, all it is. All <laughs> the is about, guys, is opinion. I so like Clarkson. You comments down below. I don't agree with Clarkson. I think he's a fool, but he's an entertaining fool. He's, he's a fool that took... He can't, you know... He can't just you say... You never get that reference like... anyway. <laughs> God, I, I love that reference. It's pretty funny. I get it. Well. So, what was the first game you guys completed from start to finish on your own and it's the sort of thing you just sat down and just 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 did no question pokemon blue um, easily i played that game to death oh. when you mean like from start to finish can a fighting game count but i think my first one might have been shiba street fighter 2 well street, street, street fighter fighting games was of... are pretty tough to beat all the way because those yeah, things are designed to wreck you isn't it? Like, yeah Boss, two, boss levels and fighting well, games almost always stupidly unfair and dumb. Yeah. Mm. Almost always. Or I also remember playing quite a lot through as well Super Mario Kart. That was a great game for the SNES. See, I'm thinking really like old school stuff and you're saying stuff that's quite recent. Quite well, surprised. the problem with me is like that is oh. as old school as I get, really. <laughs> or maybe or oh. maybe on the original NES. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Down you and your age. Uh, I'm sorry for being the babby of the group. I'm the oldest. I'm just a cool little uh, baby. I remember Wait. the game it was actually. So I can't remember the games. I remember, I remember. I remember getting to the last level of Ninja Turtles game, and then finally, <laughs> like a few years ago, I know it was via emulators and ROMs, but I beat the Ninja Turtles game, which I was very happy about myself. I was like, oh, yes, after I twenty years, chuffed. I finally beat that game. See, I remember the first game I ever actually completed, and I was so chuffed because I was like, I did this all on my own. Was um, Taz Tasmania? <laughs> on, on the master system I was so proud because as a group as a, like a family we used to sit and watch like everybody else play mm. and mm. I remember we got most of the way through the game and we'd always have troubles but there was a tr there was this um, one of the last levels it might have been the last level actually was like I think it was like an Egyptian type theme Aztec -y. It's, a, it's a it's an old school platform that there was probably an Egyptian yeah. level yeah. <laughs> Egyptian-y Aztec -y thing right near the end the UGR like things. sort of like a desert sort of level as well and I remember I them. could complete it by myself I could do it in, in like a I know this isn't this isn't so very fast but for like a day or something I could sit mm. there and be like yeah I did it and I finished it didn't need any help and That's I was dead proud cool. of myself but that was quite an old one another game I remember beating as well is an old game on the Mega Drive because my aunt had it it was called Crack Shot it was basically a game where you play this. Game. Yeah, where you play this Donald Duck, and you okay. used to go around and like looking like Indiana Jones, going to different places with like yeah. a plunger and basically be like defeating Pete and getting the map to get the treasure for Uncle Scrooge. Mm. Interesting. Um, good. I do remember um, when I <laughs> when I was still in school, we um, we used to play Final Fantasy VII as, as a family, and we used to come home. 
we'd always wait for each other. I think it was like, I'm, I'm one of eight, so like most of us would sit down together. And like my dad would start playing, and then we'd all be like, ah, oh, go over there, go over there, and stuff, ah, go and talk to that Backseat person. Backseat gaming. Exactly. Yeah. But we'd kind of take it to us, and now and then, he would pass the controller over, and it'd be like... And we'd get like 15 minutes to like control the game ourselves, and we loved it, and it was one thing that we could mm. actually bond over. Mm. And I just thought it was really, looking back, it was really nice to know that there was... Um, a game that people could, like, everyone could be involved in, sort of thing. Yeah, you know? completely. And Final Fantasy VII, that's a pretty cool game, you know. I don't believe there are any other Final Fantasies, personally. I'm sorry. Well, I grew up with Final Fantasy X. <laughs> and <laughs> I know a lot of you people out there will fe be feeling sorry for me right now, because that game isn't great. There's some good moments. Auron, Auron as a character is brilliant, and I love him to bits. It's just a shame about everything else and the bad story and the stupid you just, characters. You were just born in the wrong year. I, I was born too early. I grew up late, late. without um, Legend, uh, without uh, Final Fantasy. <laughs> My game was Legend of Zelda. Mm. Ah. I had Link to the Past, and then I got a Rock of Time, and I remember playing as well on the N sixty four, Donkey Diddy Come Racing, Mario sixty four, oh, and Golden Eye. Yeah. And those four games. What epic on the old See, N64. I've only played GoldenEye recently, and that game doesn't hold up. That is like that. That game has aged so badly. Yeah, but but but, really but, but all the time it was like revolutionary. And yeah, no, no, it's, about it, it. FPS wouldn't be as popular. Oh yeah, historically, today. one of the most significant games in mm. history. Point blank, we wouldn't have Call of Duty Four, which is the biggest series of the modern era, without GoldenEye. Simple yeah. as that. And it was quite funny as well that Better multiplayer was just uh, like a two week jobby at the end. They weren't even. <laughs> yeah, it was the afterthought. There was some of the developers. And then the after the new developers at Red decided, oh, let's do um, multiplayer, and then became probably the biggest selling point for GoldenEye. Was the multiplayer. Yeah, see, I didn't have much experience with the N64. Um, the experience that I had with the N64, um, my friend David again, who was like my, my friend of Nintendo that we always went through all these times together. Um, after we had played GameCube a lot, he bought an N64, because he's a massive fan, as I said. And we used to just play Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 a lot. Oh, yeah. So that's, that is my awesome. N64 experience. Again, go back to Pokemon. A lot of my childhood was shaped by Pokemon. I'm very much of that. A lot know. of mine was like shaped by like people like Mario, Zelda, and probably Street Fighter was probably the three major ones on the SNES. And Ninja Turtles, obviously, obviously as well, with the NES game... The original NES game and tournament fighters on the SNES, which basically have yeah. been a up game a lot like um, Street Fighter, where okay. you can choose like two different characters and they just fought against each other. That was a great game. So I'm a bit gutted that I kind of my childhood completely skipped over the whole Zelda thing. And I do for now as an adult, I like I'm just gonna go out and buy them as soon as I, you know, when I can. Mm. They're really I mean, good. Yeah. I would love they're to really get them, good. but I just missed out on the whole story. And there were a lot of really hardcore fans mm. and stuff that grown up with him. Mm. In the different games, and I do really want to give that whole thing a chance. Well, I got um, I got into Zelda in my teenage years because um, I got my GameCube, as I said, and um, I got the edition which had Mario Kart Double Dash, and with okay. that was a limited edition disc which had Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask on it, and a mm. demo for um, Wind Waker, and I played the heck out of all three of those because mm. and it had a really good time. I still prefer Majora's Mask. I don't think Ocarina of Time is the best one. Majora's Mask's just so much more interesting. The structure of it's really different, and the story is really interesting. It's so dark and scary. The first, yeah, it really is. I, I have had, I've got really like, for some reason, my first, the first time I played this disc was, um, I was at my grandma's house at the time, who lives up way up north in Derbyshire, and uh, we were staying up there for a week, and I brought my GameCube with me, and I was in her bedroom with her crappy TV that was like nailed to the top corner of the wall of the room <laughs> playing Majora's Mask and getting scared to death because I was trapped as this strange plant person and I didn't want to be a plant person, I wanted to be Link. Why am I, why can't I stop? Why is the world falling apart? Why is the moon killing me? It was really scary. And, really... and then when, when, he, when he puts on the mask as well and just starts screaming in pain and his face contorts, is just... Scary stuff. It's I, really I've scary played, I've stuff. I've never played it, but I've seen clips of it. It does look, from what I've seen, quite scary. It, it's terrifying to play when you're like, uh, you know, j just a teenager and just like, whoa, okay, I thought this was just a happy kids game. Probably my favourite <laughs> Zelda game would probably be, I love A Link to the Past on the SNES and then replaying it on the Game Boy Advance. And 
Well, I was so happy when they're finally going to re- uh, basically make a sequel to it as well. Uh, why are they calling it Link to the Past 2? Yep. It's a bit of a weird name. No, no, but it's Nintendo and they will make it work. Oh, it'll it's probably fun. be good. Yeah, it'll definitely be good. I mean, playing even going back to playing Mario Galaxy 2, I still get as much enjoyment playing that game as I did playing Super Mario Bros. 3, World, and even the original one on the NES. See, I wasn't much of a Mario fan. I, I get, like, most of my, like... <laughs> my first game experience has come from my GameCube, so like the first Mario game I really got into, well, again, another controversial decision, Super Mario Sunshine. And I really like that game. Really? It's, it, I really do. Like, I really like the freedom of it, and just like the, the open worlds, the hub worlds, uh, Delfino Plaza, I really like Delfino Plaza. And just mm. running around that with the flood boost thing, it's really fun. I, I, I don't see why people hate on that game so much. I, I had really good times with it. <laughs> what about you? Did you ever play any Mario games at all or anything like that? Not really. I didn't really kind of get... I had a lot of like random games. It wasn't me. Mm. It was more like... My childhood was more like Taz Tasmania, Donkey Kong, um, the Harry Potter series. Um, <laughs> the Harry Potter games are so fun. They were really good. <laughs> there's, you there's, want to go and like, fly around. They're kind actually. of bad, but they're really fun. It's so That's much so fun. Cool. So that was when everything was really yeah. big and big and stuff. And I remember the day... I mean, the video is getting quite long now, so we're going to have to. But um, yeah, fine, like, fine. I remember, I, I remember the day my dad said, "I'm going to go out," and I, we all knew he was going out to buy a PlayStation One. Oh, yeah, and this was like a few weeks after, like they got big, so like yeah. we were like, we literally just sat there and just waited, like little smiles. <laughs> and then he came back, and we would just watch the TV as he plugged it in, and it was Nintendo sixty four, insane. Nintendo no PlayStation. Oh my and god! To see that come up, yeah. <laughs> See, yeah, just that sound like, is so beautiful. Yeah, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, still sends shivers down. Just, my spine. I remember vividly looking at the screen, going, "This is unbelievable. This looks." Yeah. I know, and I was like, "I don't care what the, what how the game plays. This is." I can't even remember. I'm a bit gutted. I can't remember what the first game we had, but it's probably like I don't know, Rain Man or something. <laughs> probably something rubbish like Pandemonium. Yeah, like <laughs> I, when my dad first bought the PlayStation One for like my sisters and stuff, and we went used to go there quite a lot. The first games we played was a uh, a platformer called Lomax, which is like looked like the Lemmings, and we played um, another game called which was one of the best games I've ever played, Soul Blade. It was basically the prequels. Is to... that the first one before Soul Calibur? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That was the first Soul in the Soul Calibur Soul Blade series, and it was one of the best games I've ever played. It was amazing. Weird. Up. Wasn't it called Soul Edge? Or... That I was uh, it was maybe called the arcade, but then when it came, maybe oh, maybe, maybe, right. maybe it was just. Called that maybe in Japan or America, but it was called Soul Blade. Like Contra was originally called Pro 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 Brector or some weird name like that. <laughs> Pro Bexer, I don't want to play that game. Yeah, it <laughs> was a game some really random name over here. It's weird. Different gravy. I know mm. the original Indeed. Tomb Raider was one of the ones that I played as well that I completed like that. Mm. And uh, I have fond memories of watching. Um, <laughs> well, weirdly enough, one of my dad's ex girlfriends, big Tomb Raider fan. I have fond memories of just watching her play Tomb Raider and going, "I have tried to play this game and I am bad at this, but yeah, watching too. this is quite fun." I, I occasionally snuck and like in into like her room and like played some of like just a tutorial level where you, you just get to run around Lara's mansion. Yeah. That's so much fun. Yeah. It's so just really running so around fun. doing really? obstacle courses and going, Yay, I have guns, let's shoot at the vases. <laughs> only so many times you can try and get Laura to like jump over something, jump onto something, and it's like I I didn't get tired of it. <laughs> just like I, I never got tired of watching my dad play Red Alert 2 on his old PC. I loved watching him play that game. And then, uh, when I played it myself, I was terrible. I was really mm. bad. Still am bad at most strategy games. Same thing with like me, like my uncle he used to play um Aiden Storm and just to see someone actually play out really well, uh, like again, it was amazing. And then even Aliens. playing it, Alien Storm. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. It was it was an old um, Mega Drive game which I actually have on the virtual console. If you want to play it after this, it's a really good game. It's a really really good game. Right. And also playing through Sonic the Hedgehog as well because I had the Mega Drive, so I was able to play both Sonic and Mario and just just how much different they are with the speed and the music as well. Because I still think yeah. Sonic the Sonic One has some of the best. A gaming soundtrack ever basically. Oh yeah. All right. Soundtrack. So oh, I think we have blabbed on enough. I Definitely. hope you guys enjoyed mm-hmm. a random insight into our gaming histories. Some recent, some less. <laughs> into our gaming <laughs> nostalgia. So yes, as per usual, that's Sam. That's Mark. And I'm Mark and that's a Ben. Freak <laughs> <laughs>
I had to do it because Mikey's not here, so I thought I had to do it for Mikey. You don't have to do it. This is the one time. The one time we can do it and properly. And you said you're Ben, and, and you that's Mark. That. Did I say? Did I say I'm Ben? Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs>